Hey, Tada, this is Zola, 100% purebred in South Africa with the South African stamp of approval. And of course, you know, I'm fully beveraged in South Africa, proudly South African. And you are watching a program called Sharp Sharp, which means mocha mocha, means pashash pashash, means perfect perfect. Wola <laughs> Sebe. Yeah. Now, would I be correct in assuming that Tupac played a big influence on you, inspiration? Oh! The life that Tupac lived played an inspiration. Him as a man, I don't know him. The stuff that I never met him, the stuff that I read about him, the stuff that I saw on DVD and back then in the tapes about his documentaries, uh, and, and that beautiful book called Rose on the Concrete. Those are things that gave me an insight of what kind of a man he was and how he died, how he lived his life, how his mother was an active member of the Black Panthers and how that, in a way, related to my life from when my mother was politically active to how she lived and how she was pregnant with me right in the heart of 76. Now she gave birth to me in 77 and how I lived a miserable life, how my father left me how I grew up hard and, and how I had fights with my mother when I was 17, 18, because I was a teenager and how I struck it gold and how me and my mother reconciled and healed and how I became a voice of the nation. I understand what Tupac went through because I went through exactly the only experience I haven't had that he had is that I haven't been killed yet, right? So I feel him, I understand him and I also understand that he could not sing about swans in a park. He could not sing about the beauty of, of how some, some Western books portray life because he grew up on the concrete and he was a rose. He grew up hard and I'm going through the same thing, right? And even worse in my country, I can never have the money that he had. But he also taught me that sometimes it's not about money. It's about letting it out and be fully used before you die, right? So he, had, he used all of his energy. He was there. He fought every day. He fought politically. He fought spiritually. He fought socially. So even though he was a brother from another country, but what he was is like in direct like parallel with what I go through every day of my life. Therefore, I feel him. I feel his pain. I feel his joys. And I feel what he was trying to achieve and he was in a struggle. And a struggle is something that you never achieve. It's something that you fought until you die. Therefore, I shall also fight until I die. Him and I are... Uh